I'm trying to see if I can remember my, um, how I used to start my videos. This is Elizabeth, Finding Elizabeth, and today is Monday, November 9th, 2020, and I had weight loss surgery 150 years ago. No, not 150 years ago. I had weight loss surgery six and a half years ago, and I have maintained about 165 pound weight loss for all of the days, all of the days. And I am getting ready to wrap this journey up, which means that I am finally having plastic surgery. That got real on Friday when I handed over the money for the plastic surgery. Um, I'm having surgery with uh, Dr. Katzen, who many of you know from the weight loss surgery conferences. He is here in Southern California. I have thought about having, uh, I thought about for a while and met with some plastic surgeons in Columbia where my brother lives, but I can't fly there now. And also, I don't know, I just felt a little bit better doing it here and being close to home. So my, I'm having an extended abdominoplasty, breast lift, and implants on December 7th. And I'm excited and scared and all the things. So um, I just wanted to check in. Um, and just talk about one of the things that I've been thinking. Well, there's two things that my mind has been spinning. For those of you who watched my videos back in the day, I spent a lot of time thinking about the mental and emotional aspects of all this. And now, now that it's real, now that plastic surgery is actually happening, I have been thinking a lot about the mental and emotional impacts of that. So one part of it is this idea of... Over the last couple of years, I have really thought a lot about body acceptance, and I have seen how so many of us struggle. We struggled with it before weight loss surgery, and then we struggled with it after weight loss surgery because there is a bit of a rebound. Most people do not stay at the lowest weight that they hit um, after surgery, and as women, and maybe men as well, but I think it's probably more predominant with women, we just beat ourselves up over the fact that we gain 10 pounds or we regain 20 pounds or whatever. And um, also, you know, when you've carried around a significant amount of weight and you lose it, there are all kinds of things that happen with your body as a result of that, as I'm sure many of you know. What is my Apple Watch telling me? Um, and one of the things that had been holding me off on moving forward was plas with plastics was this idea of getting back down to my lowest weight or even being lower than that when I had surgery. Well, here's the reality of that. It's probably not going to happen. I'm always going to be fluffy. I'm never going to be a skinny. Uh, I'm never going to be a skinny girl. And there is something to the idea for me that plastic surgery is also about body acceptance. It's about the fact that, like I said, I'm always going to be, I'm never going to be skinny, skinny, skinny. And so instead of putting off making my body the best that it can be at the weight that I am, um, really speaks to body acceptance for me. And the idea that I just want to, I want to be the best version of myself that I can be. And I want to be happy and proud of my body for the first time in my life. And I'm tired of waiting and I'm not going to wait anymore because I don't have to. I'm not gonna. The other thing I've been thinking about was this whole idea of, you know, my body has been my body my whole life. I remember from the earliest times, I mean, when I first became aware as a young girl and a teenager of what my body looked like, even when I weighed 140 pounds, I had a little stomach. And I used to think about the idea of getting that cut off. Like, wouldn't that be a dream if we could just take this part and we could cut it off? Um, so I guess I put that into the uh, manifested world a very long time ago. But also my stomach, the things that are, you know, the imperfections of my body are mine and have been with me for a very long time. So it's super interesting for me to think about what it's going to feel like to have this unfamiliar body. I'm excited, but it's freaking me out a little bit. 
So um, that's all I got today. I just wanted to check in. We're like, what, a month away? Today's the ninth. I'm like a month away from plastics. Um, if y'all have had plastics or thinking about plastics and have any thoughts on what I was talking about, I would love to hear them. Also, because I'm not going to be able to watch all the videos from all the people. I didn't watch the weight loss surgery videos until after um, I had weight loss surgery when I was recovering. I may do the same thing with plastics. But if you've had plastics and you have one piece of advice that you wish you would have known um, in the time you were preparing, please let me know in the comments below. Obviously. All right. I love you guys. I miss you guys. And I will talk to you later.